ink for writing and also for drawing, also for fountain pens. All inks are vegan and document proof. Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. Today I have the new inks from the company Octopus Fluids here and we want to take a look at them. I was provided these inks free of charge by the company for the review, but as always there is no influence. The inks are a series of inks called Write and Draw. This is a whole ink series with 38 inks and a cleaner. You will understand that I cannot test every ink here, but we will take a look at a small selection. Now ink is always interesting, but this one is a bit special, because it is ink that was developed for writing and drawing, and this is a pigmented ink. More specifically, you have a pigmented ink here that is document proof. Furthermore, the entire series, including the cleaner, is vegan. In addition, the ink is suitable for fountain pens. However, Octopus also says quite clearly on the website, the fountain pens are to be cleaned well after use. More on that a little later. Octopus has made an effort with the labels, because these are great designed. Each color has its own drawn animal in the color of the ink. And the ink names are all about animals albeit in strange color combinations. But then, the company has an animal in its name, so perhaps that's not surprising. You see, we have a large selection of colors, and especially white, for the fountain pen. So the first impression is good. But let's take a look at a few selected inks and see how they do on paper. And for simplicity, especially cleaning between inks, I use a nib pen and not a fountain pen. First, let's test Blue Koi here. A very strong and intense shade of blue. Then we have the violet giraffe. A very dark and muted shade of purple. The orange bunny. A strong and intense orange shade. The brown penguin. I would classify it as a medium brown. We have the green crane. A muted shade of green that, for me, already goes into olive. Petrol Axolotl.
also a pleasant muted shade. The Red Koala A strong and clear red And the blue links. A shade that can be described as light blue or ice blue. Then there is a black elephant. A strong and clear black that really covers. And now the white ink, the white polar beer. For this I got extra black paper, only so you can see well how strong opaque this ink is. And you can see that the ink covers quite well at first. In the writing it's really excellent opaque. In the area application it is not so strong, but in my opinion very good. So you can also create good shading. A white ink is something very special. It is rarely usable, but it is, I have heard from several already, not so easy to achieve good quality. The result here appeals to me. And I test here also once in a simple way the cleaner. The first point that stands out about the cleaner is the smell. I don't like it at all. But the cleaner is supposed to clean, not smell good. It dissolves the ink perfectly here at the white and cleans the nib almost completely without mechanical impact. Now the ink is not firmly dried, but the result is ok. And you should not let the ink dry up. Because the ink is document proof. In the worst case it can clog the fountain pen. Cleaning is then much more difficult. This often works, but is not recommended. That is why you should clean the pens after use. In general, it is not necessary to panic after the last stroke and immediately hold the fountain pen on the water or in the cleaner. The ink will not dry up within seconds. But it is a point that you have to keep in mind with pigmented inks in general. Especially if it is document proof. The white ink is a little more sensitive than the other colors. Especially the blue links has done it to me. A great shade. And it's great to have such a selection of document proof inks for fountain pens. Colors that I really like as well. And these inks are not only for writing, but also for drawing. They are certainly well suited for that. But in the end, I can't judge that. But for all those who draw or paint, the inks can be sent. You shouldn't really do that for fountain pens though. According to Octopus, the inks meet the requirements for document proof ink. For very simple testing purposes, here I have tested the dried ink with water. And the ink shows itself to be absolutely unimpressed. That's how it should be. What I find very nice is information that Octopus itself reveals about the ink on the website. For example, that the usability of the inks was tested during the development test. especially with fountain pens from Coveco and Diplomat. 
If you want to know even more about Zinc, you should definitely check out the official website. I have linked to it in the video description, of course. I have to say, I like the things. Even though I would certainly only use them for special cases. What do you think of these things and colors? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and a subscription if you haven't already. See you next time.